Okay. Hey guys, I don't know why I'm doing this again, but I'm doing pancake art part two because it went so well the first time. Oh, 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 ah! I think it was like moderately successful, maybe. I feel like I learned a lot from the first experience. We'll call it an experience. I have a lot of lessons learned, I think, from that pancake art challenge that I did six months ago, you know? Turns out it's much more difficult to create pancake art than you would assume. The real challenge with pancake art is everything is backwards. So like, you have to flip it over at the end, obviously, because it's a pancake. Your art has to be the reverse of what you thought it was gonna be. So it's really like the reverse art challenge. The back is the front and the front is the back. Everything is reversed. It's so confusing. Let's see if I can actually get better at this. I am honestly not quite sure. I might still do a bad job, so. Okay, mixing, mixing, mixing. I bought this huge bag of condiment squeezy bottles on Amazon. I actually used this in my last pancake art video, and now I just have to kind of fill up these bottles. The openings to the bottles are quite small, so I have this funnel, which you stick into the top of the bottle. I got my finger stuck. This just makes it easier to pour the pancake batter into that tiny bottle. Plop, plop. I also have some food coloring, which I'm going to be using to color all of the pancakes. Debating if I should add more. I got it on the side of the bottle. I'm bleeding! Ah! And then I just had to shake each individual color. Ah, we've lost them. Get them back. Yes! One hour and 40 minutes later, I had all of my colors and we're ready to start actually making pancake art. I melted the bottles on the pan by putting it too close to the pan. Still tastes good though. Up first, we're starting off really easy. I found this challenge extremely challenging <laughs> last time I did it, and I figured I need to just get a good warm up in here. Let's do something simple. I put down a layer of sprinkles and icing, a layer for the donut dough. I let that thing cook and I flipped it over. It looked moderately okay. I mean, it, it kind of looks like a donut. And I figured, okay, I'm ready to move on to the next phase, something more complicated. For this next one, I figured, let's try a cupcake. A cupcake is slightly more complicated than a donut, but its shape at least is not as complex as some other things I could have chosen. So you could see I put the wrapper down and I put some icing with some highlights in. I also added shading for the wrapper. And I thought this was going okay until I cooked it. I flipped it over and it's like, eh! I kind of ruined the icing right there, the chocolate icing, it's a little ripped. Are these the best pancake art pieces I've ever seen? No, absolutely not, but I think this was like, okay. Let's move on to something more complicated. Some of my squishies, perhaps. So this one we're drawing right here is Seaford. He's looking uh, real rough, honestly. The outline of him is just not looking good, but I thought I'd try this one because I do have experience with making Seaford from my last pancake art. And I thought, okay, let's warm up again because I know how challenging this was and I don't know why I'm putting a scoop of that right there. No idea. We cooked Seaford up and I tried to flip him, except I realized that I didn't grease the pan this time. Seaford got a little stuck and tragically broke his neck. I'm so scared. Get out of here. That's a mess. Okay, so I made him smaller this time and his arms are a little bit too big, but I'm trying my best here. His eyes are also quite a bit larger than the original. Once I was done filling in take two, I let him cook and I flipped him over and he actually looked pretty cute. I'm happy with this one. I think this is a cute pancake to receive for breakfast. Up next, I decided, you know what? That one went so well. Let's do something slightly more complicated. I thought I have purple, green, tan, and blue. This will be perfect to make cocoa and bubbles. Cocoa and Bubbles is a squishy I made a while back. It's a mother-daughter pair. They're both koalas. I totally messed up the leg right there on Coco. In general, the shape on this is kind of messed up. But more than that, I actually screwed up their eyes at first. I forgot to put the pupils down. I just went right for the whites and had to wipe that off with my fingers. Luckily, I remembered to keep the pan off. In part one, I burned my fingers a bunch because I kept the pan on the whole time. And then I decided to just do it with my hands and burn my fingers. And well, I'll just, I'll let you see it for yourself. Oh, oh, oh! 
enough said. I had to redeem myself after that. So this time I decided to really, really concentrate. I took a very long time doing this. I did it really slowly. I put the eyes way too close together at first, but I was able to separate those mini pancakes to kind of look like eggs. I added a layer of sprinkles on Chip's ears, and then I added the icing on top of that. If you don't know who Chip is, Chip is another squishy that I made in one of my squishy makeover videos. He is a mouse made out of cookie dough ice cream. I added Chip's hands, some hot fudge, and some sprinkles, as well as the vanilla ice cream that goes on top of it. Really laying that on thick there. And then of course we had to add Chip's blue cup. And then I was finally able to add the cookie dough part of Chip's face. I don't know if you can really tell how big this pancake is, but it's massive. So it did take quite a while for it to cook. Look how small my spatula is in comparison. I was afraid that I was gonna break Chip in half. I did eventually gain the courage to flip him. And look at that! I think I did a good job on this one. I, it's, it's very hard to make pancake art, but this is probably my favorite one that I've done. I know it's not perfect, but I really like this one. Where there is a chip, there is a cherry. Cherry is another squishy of mine. She's a berry tart cat, and her and Chip kind of have a thing going on, or at least Chip thinks they do. So right here I'm drawing Cherry's paws and giving her her little berries that go around her tart, as well as her cherry sauce. I really like the way I did the sauce. I feel like it came out very drippy looking. After that, I created her tart cup thing that she's sitting in and then filled in her face. I left her to cook for a little bit and then I was ready to flip her over. She sticks the landing. It's not as good as Chip because she's missing something. Her pupils. Oops. Up next we have a adorable face. Beep. Strangely reminiscent of Seaford, but it's not. It's actually our good friend Mel. This is another squishy that I did in a squishy makeover. I think I did this in the three color challenge. You'll notice that everything is very watery. I had been watching pancake art tutorials and it seems like sometimes they water down the batter. This did not work for me. I think I added too much water and it looked like a horrifying ghost. Oh, oh my God, what the? Not appetizing in any way. I don't want to eat this pancake. Up next, I decided to attempt Maurice. Maurice is a squishy that I also did in a squishy makeover series, and he's a dog with a bunch of paint on him, and he's also holding an ice cream cone. This one I thought was gonna turn out really good, but it turns out that I actually made Maurice's face the eyes are too close together. It looks so derpy. Ah, this one is frustrating because I feel like I got it so close, but the eyes just look so bad. Also, the, the feet are messed up. Up next, we have another horrific, tragic mistake. I tried to make Marina, and this one I think is probably the worst one I have done. <laughs> So I tried making her shells. You can tell right away that her eyes are just not, they're not right. I thought I could save this thing. So I made her tail, I gave her her aquamarine hair, I let her cook, and I flipped her over. And this is quite possibly the scariest thing I've ever seen. She's having a bit of a wardrobe malfunction and a hair and makeup emergency. And somehow I have erased her lips completely. After that mess, I was determined to redeem myself. And redeem myself, I did. So here we are creating Val. Val is a Valentine's Day hamster, and I think this one turned out really cute. Val has hearts all over her, she has big eyes, and I think that played in this pancake's favor. I filled Val's body in with the light pink color, and then I let her cook. Turns out I may have let her cook for a tad bit too long because I burned the top of her head, but I really like this one. And now, in order of least appetizing to most appetizing, we have Seaford's Wreckage, Marina, Maurice, a donut and a cupcake, my favorite pet hamster, Valentina, everyone's best friend, my cat, the cookie I ate last week, and the lovebirds, Chip and Cherry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that these pancakes are not the best pancake art you've ever seen, but I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys liked it too. If you'd like to check out my squishy makeover series, I have that linked. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video.